uh, WBJusticeLawyers.com and Parsons Ford of Martinsburg. As we welcome in our noisy co-host this morning, the Admiral Bill Stumblefield, two-star. Let it be clear this is Maria's phone, it not mine. It was me this time. <laughs> was it? Was I, guilty, <laughs> Your Honor. Guilty. And Sorry. Maria Lawrence, an all-star. <laughs> Good morning. Noisy all-star. Yes, yeah, I, I've got it. I got it. The volume off now, um, so we're good. Sam Petsonk's comments did not age well at all. <laughs> that <laughs> opened. Goodness. That, they did. Jason Barrett, uh, I think, diagnosed it and hit it on the head there as we, uh, uh, on this uh, morning after the election, uh, see exactly what happened yesterday and, of course, around the state of West Virginia, uh, which now has a 91 to 9 House of Delegates advantage for Republicans and a 32 to 2 Senate advantage. For Republicans, Bill. is that considered a super majority, Rob? That's beyond. The, that's almost a complete <laughs> extra super. That's almost hundred percent. Super size. Super size. Majority. Margin of error has that at hundred percent if you take that into account here. Now, yesterday in Berkeley County, which uh, of course went strongly Republican once again, uh, there were a few issues as we try to guide some voters uh, through election day. And the clerk Tony Petrucci joins us once again this morning. Tony, did you get any right. sleep last night? Uh. Made it in at three thirty. <laughs> so that's about the time I was waking up. All right. I figured that. I should have called you. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Or slept. Yeah. For, first of all, I want to apologize for you know last night not getting the results out in a timely manner. But initially, we had some issues with the data upload to the state website, uh, which created some problems. But we had our vendor there, ESNS, who worked. Uh, diligently with the secretary of state office to resolve that issue and around uh 10 o'clock or so maybe a little after that uh we finally got it straightened out so we could po start posting this stuff and after we started it was finished about twelve thirty uh that we got everything on there that needed to be on there so so we ended up with about 50,452 voters. And that, that, that does include um, absentees. Okay. Uh, so that's about a 42.87%, which I was very disappointed with. And, um, until we do the canvassing next week, um, you know, it's, it's unofficial, as uh, Commissioner Stubblefield knows that. But that, that's where we ended up. Uh, and you had about another seventeen hundred nine absentees to that, also too. So that's we have we have that number, but that that that's not included in the fifty thousand four hundred fifty. Tony, what was the issue in I think it was precincts nineteen and twenty six in that well, race with the maps and wrong candidates on the ballot? We're still looking into that. You know, we're still we're trying to get to wrap up this thing, this election thing, and uh, on the time we do the canvassing, we'll have we'll have everything where it needs to be so the commissioners can, can decide if they're, you know, whatever issues there might be. But um, it's, it's sort of complicated, but we're, we're, we're looking into that as we speak, and we'll have that taken care of one way or another next by Canvas. So, Tony, so that Tony, there are two problems then, were there? There was the posting problem of getting it, uh, uh, yeah. folks notified. Yeah. And then yeah. there was the, uh, a couple of uh, precincts with bad, with wrong information. Is it that correct? It looks that way, but you know, I'm just going to leave it. You know, we, we got everything posted and then we're going to go, you know, t we'll have it in a much better format, uh, by next Tuesday. On the campus, what is the there. Secretary of State's involvement in looking into that, Tony? I understand it was a, maybe Mapping, some maps. The, the maps, the maps. It has to basically. It, it seems like there was some issues in 2020 uh, when they did the redistricting of what they did on their GSI and what the county has. I, I, the way I see it, um, that's where we have to come to some conclusion. Uh, you know whether who's right and who's wrong basically so but, we need a little time to get into that but I, it's not i don't think it's going to affect any 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 of the election on major but you know if it's wrong it's wrong we got to get it right so that's one thing but uh uh we just we just need to look into it and make the final cut 
as I say, uh, and we need a little time to do this yet. So that's, but, that's where we're at with that. But, Tony, there had been three elections prior, uh, subsequent to 2020. Uh, this had been the fourth election. The problem yeah. did not surface in any of the other the previous nope. three? No, nope. nope. not according to my people. I've asked, you know, I was on them constantly about that. So, you know. I'll take the blame if you want to hear from that, Mr. Subterfield. No. But that, that's just where it was, and I don't know why, you know, when, when I'm told that it's good, but when I go in, and it might be an issue. But Yeah. Now, yeah. now Tony, I was not pointing blame at anybody. Well, no, but I, yeah. I, I, but, I'll, take, I'll take the responsibility. I'm the clerk. But would you I, – uh, Rob and I talked about this a little bit offline, so I have a uh-huh. sense what's going on. But I'm not sure people fully understand what the issue is. Would you explain the exact issue, please? Well, if you have – the way I see it, there was an area, and I have to get my notes, that you, it was the 19th district. To begin with, and it should, and it had the ninety first. Uh, no, it was the nineteenth precinct. I'm sorry, nineteenth yes. precinct, precinct, and it had the ninety first district on the map. And the way it probably got confused, it should have been the nineteenth dis- uh, precinct was correct, but it should have been the ninety sixth district on the map. And that's where we got the problem with the Soto being listed in the 96th district, which is in the city. And he should have been, I mean, he's up where he's at. It should have been, I think he's 91st. So we've got to get that straightened out. That's, straightened out. that's what some of the problem was. All right, Tony, thank you. I appreciate your time this morning. And uh, hopefully and we'll we get this resolved. We will have a little, yeah, yeah I, I, We'll have a better wrap around this thing here in a couple of days, and we can fill you in exactly the scenario. But uh, I don't think it's going to affect anything. But we need to make it right. So, Tony, good, good, Mary. Um, so, Tony, very quickly, um, and thank you for um, for coming on after sure. four hours sure. of, <laughs> right. of sleep yeah. or whatever. Um, uh-huh. are you pleased in general with how things went on election day, the, the counting issue at the end, notwithstanding? Oh, yeah. Uh, the counting, the counting issue went well as far as bringing, uh, everything in from the precincts. I mean, once we got rolling and got it into the office, and once we got, and once we got that things fixed, you know, with the Secretary of State's office, sure, it went it went fine. And I mean, did you it, feel like you had enough? And again, I'm just hearing this mm-hmm. sort of secondhand. Were there enough uh, voting stations at each of the precincts? Because there yeah. were lines, um, yeah. and with 42 percent of turnout, yeah, it, with it, a lot it, of people voting early, do well, you feel yeah, like I, you were adequately? Um, that there were adequate numbers of, of um... yeah, Maria, I do. I was just disappointed. It just seemed like, you know, we did almost thirty percent at the early voting, and then we have the this this uh, low number of, you know, whatever it is, forty percent, forty two percent on election day. Yeah, we had enough stations. There were some. Uh, precincts that were more heavily involved, but you know, I said, Man, we got to check this again. Something don't sound right. But when you go back and look, I've got some districts, and Commissioner Summerfield probably heard me talk about this before. I've got a district in town that was redistricted in 2020 that's only got 12 people in it, and three of them voted. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. We're overwhelmed. We're well, going in. Hey, at least thirteen of them didn't vote. Yeah, that's that's yeah, a good and, sign. And in and, and the primaries, that same precinct, nobody voted. <laughs> so I don't know how that got like that. But you know, I have to staff that just like. Well, I mean, you know, I don't staff it like I would Hedgeville High School, but I still put you know a machine and a couple people. Uh, you got to have by, by code five people. Uh, so. Yes, 
to answer your question, yes, we were fully staffed. We had enough people. I was just disappointed with the turnout. It just seemed like every time I turned around, there were problems. We had somebody that died at the woods. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, people in line passed just just dropped over. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, we, we had, had a, someone passed away. Down, yeah. Spring Mills uh, Middle School. He somebody passed out down there that was in line. Uh, so you know, it takes a little uh, off of the you know, it makes you a little edgy. Uh, with, but but we had, they handled it to put the, the the rovers we have. You know, we got people under control, especially back at the woods. And and the woods really is a heavy voting place. And we did a little, a little different things there to help them out with. It did with the equipment, and um, I know Mr. Hardy was on the on the uh, your radio the other day talking about equipment. I mean, you know, before he makes statements where we don't need equipment, he needs to talk to me, and I can show him what we got. Mm -hmm. and that's why I'm purchasing things along so future clerks will have enough poll uh, uh, voting machines and poll uh, and e poll books because. You know, these machines are moved around and then taken out by IT to these places. They break down, and the money didn't come out of the county commission coffer. This, these are funds that I have that's set aside by the legislature that I can purchase uh, equipment and or books to replace the old books. There's two, two different light items. So and we gain so much money each month on, you know, a formula that they, they put in there. So... You know, well, he'll be right like, down the hallway from you, Tony, because he won yesterday over Dirk Stansberry. So yeah, well, he needs to to uh, understand that, and I'm sure I'll have some discussions with that with him when he when he gets elected. So I'll save it from then. All right, hey, Tony, thanks. I appreciate you getting up this morning to do this. No problem. Anytime. Thank you. Thanks, you. Tony. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Bill. Tony Petrucci, Berkeley County Clerk, had a busy day yesterday. Uh, Joe, Dr. Joe 